The CompTIA Learning Center is the platform that accompanies the official CompTIA Instructor and Student Guides for Instructor-Led Training. Here you will find your ebook and resources to support your course. We think you will find the platform easy to use and intuitive. Within a few hours of purchasing your official CompTIA Instructor or Student Guide, you will receive an access key to access the CompTIA Learning Center. This access key is unique to you and course specific. You will visit learn.comptia.org forward slash access dash key to register. Even if you already have a login for the CompTIA Learning Center, you will need to visit this URL if you are accessing a new course for the first time. After you have registered, log into your courses on the CompTIA Learning Center by visiting learn.comptia.org. Once you're logged in, you can see all the courses you have access to will be displayed on the drop-down menu or accessed from the user portal on the right-hand side. CompTIA Learning Center displays all course assets on the left menu. To access the online reader, click Launch eBook from the left menu or from the Resources menu. The eBook reader features search, zoom, and bookmark functionality. You can also highlight and take notes. The Annotations menu lets you review all of your highlights and notes together. The eBook is also accessible on a mobile device using CompTIA's eReader app. Access all files, including a downloadable PDF version of the ebook and PowerPoint presentation slides, from the Resources menu. Instructors have access to both an instructor guide and a student guide in PDF format, while students only have access to a student guide. The types of documents found here will vary by course and whether you are an instructor or student user. Throughout the ebook, icons denote where a related video is available. Videos are accessed from the video menu and listed in lesson topic order. Students can also search video topics to locate a specific video. Guidelines for protecting your components from ESD damage. We'll be taking a look at ESD protection. The videos focus on procedures and demonstrations and are meant to complement the material in the book. On each video, students can bookmark, take notes, and indicate their confidence level with data flowing into the Strengths and Weaknesses dashboard. Closed captioning is available on all videos within the video player. Practice questions are accessed from the Practice menu and are designed to assess students on what they have just learned. Some courses have a set of questions for each lesson as well as a final assessment accessed from the Assessments menu. Other courses have a single set of questions covering all lessons. Students can review their answers versus the correct answer and see full feedback as they progress through the questions. Students can also indicate their confidence level for each practice question with the data flowing into the Strengths and Weaknesses dashboard. Alternatively, students can review answers and feedback after all questions are complete. Students access the final assessment available for some courses from the Assessments menu. The final assessment replicates a timed practice test and students can only view their answers versus the correct answers and feedback when their attempt is complete. Students can also indicate their confidence level for each final assessment question with data flowing into the Strengths and Weaknesses dashboard. The Strengths and Weaknesses dashboard provides students with a snapshot of their performance within the course. Analytics are based on their scores on practice questions and the final assessment, if available, as well as their self-reported confidence levels throughout the course. This dashboard is a useful tool for students to understand what they know and what they still need to improve upon in order to gauge their readiness for the CompTIA certification exam. This concludes the brief tour of the CompTIA Learning Center. For any questions related to the platform, please contact CompTIA Customer Service by submitting a ticket through our website or calling one of our representatives.